Here's a quick video for uh, Peterbilt569 who uh, uh, wanted to know what I meant by ringing out the uh, under valve cover wiring harness on the 7.3 diesel there. And uh, here's the one that came out of my truck. It actually is still good, but uh, so I should get continuity in all of them. Obviously, white wires are, uh, well, these white wires are the to the glow plugs, these are to the fuel injectors. Harness is the same on either side, so it's the uh, same, you know, same test either way. And hello, tough, tough. Um, okay, so I'll have to put the camera up on a tripod and I'll show you what I mean. Now you could do this with the uh, harness and st uh, still on the truck. You can actually do a test, quick test to check for continuity without even taking the valve cover off by just by uh, doing the appropriate. Uh, uh, connections here like you can see I uh, hope you can see in there but uh, the two uh, outside ones on either end are for the glow plugs and all you have to do is just measure the resistance between one of those pins and ground and it should be uh, I think it's like two or three or four ohms or something like that but certainly if you're getting up into the hundreds of ohms or into the K kilo ohms um, it's uh, uh, you know you've got a problem there Okay, let me put this on the stand and uh, and we'll uh, get a cat out of the way. Okay, so here's what I'm just using to uh, ring it out. This is just a standard, uh, you know, digital voltmeter. This one has a continuity range right here. It's a diode test as well. And all it does is it just beeps when you short it out or when you've got continuity. So all you're really doing is, is just, you know, inserting that in there and touching it to the corresponding um, lead in the connector. In this case, it this one is, you know, it's it's straight out. You know, this one is the outermost one on the left. This one is the second outermost one on the left. This one is the second. Uh, outermost on this side and that one's the outermost one on that side. So if I go like this, you know, if I've got it in one end here and down there, continuity. So that one is good. I could check the resistance in there because it shouldn't be, once again, it shouldn't be more uh, than probably an ohm or two. But uh, nevertheless, that one rings out. I'll go on to the next one. That one's good. I'll go to the last one here, which is going to be a oh, swap around. Doesn't really matter what uh, polarity of the connections because we're just checking the wire itself. If there's a diode in there, it'd make a difference. Oops. And oh, there we go. And you just have to make sure that you get, you're actually touching the metal on the inside of the uh, connector here and there, and the appropriate one in that case. Yeah. And of course, that one's good as well. Now. At, at this point, um, I think I'm just rereading your comment here just to see what the problem was. I assume the problem was with the um, with the uh, glow plugs, but if it is indeed with the fuel injectors as well, then you see in there. The smaller, the five smaller connectors, hopefully I'm holding this right, the five smaller connectors are for the fuel injectors. The center one is common, and the uh, outer ones, and you know, like, once again, correspond this way, whereas this one is the leftmost one, second leftmost one, second rightmost one, and the uh, rightmost one, with the center common. So what you can do is ring that out as well, and the common is on all these uh, wires, I believe, is the black. It certainly makes sense that it's black. Um, so we'll, we'll check the uh, commons on all these first. So that's good there. So center of the connector to, to the uh, black wire on this side. You, and best bet is to obviously to unplug it from the... Uh, the fuel injector in this case, it's the only easy way to get access to it. Don't poke holes in the wires to try and test anything. Because this is underneath the valve cover wiring harness, it's gonna 
let oil into the harness and they're going to cause you some problems with the wires. That one's good for the ground. Oops. And as is that one, so we'll start ringing out the uh, the uh, the uh, harness here for the main fuel injector bit. Okay, so in this case, it's a red wire, and that's going to the leftmost of the inner smaller ones. And there we go. That one's good. Second leftmost of the inner smaller uh, blades here. That one's good. Second rightmost of the smaller inner blades. And finally, am I even on camera there? It looks like I am. Leftmost of the smaller inner ones. So this harness is, is perfectly good. Now, you can do the tests inside the vehicle. I'm going to go and grab a fuel injector, or sorry, not a fuel injector. Actually, I do have some fuel injectors lying around. So I'll grab a fuel injector, I'll grab a, um, a glow plug, and I'll just tell you what the resistances are of that that you can test. You can ring it all out from here, what the resistances are, and it'll tell you if there's a break in the harness or if you have a bad glow plug uh, as well. So let me pause you guys, and I'll come back to that. Okay, so uh, here's a... A glow plug, this is a, a good one that I'd replaced. Uh, but if I measure the resistance of it, it's showing about about an ohm. And what I've done is I've switched my uh, meter onto the 200 ohm range of my multimeter here. So it's not on the continuity test range. You won't get an accurate uh, ohm reading in that, in that uh, case. Now, if you're going to ring out what your um, glow plugs are doing, um, that would be the setup, is it would be plugged in, this would be in the block, so that would be grounded to the block, so you need a good ground, probably the best choice in a lot of cases is the alternator or the engine block if you have access to a good uncorroded spot, but in any case, in this case I'm going to you know just touch it to the body of the glow plug and then and then measure it against that appropriate uh, glow plug input. In this case, it's the leftmost of the wide blades. And it's reading, actually, it's reading a lot higher than I would expect it because I was reading one ohm on the uh, glow plug itself, but this is reading about six ohms. So that might be one of the reasons why it was a good idea to replace this harness because this harness used to have a fair bit of resistance in it. 5 ohms isn't a lot for the continuity tester, but uh, that's a lot for the glow plug because it, you're going to drop the, the current flow by down to 20% basically of what it would have been otherwise. Yeah, so I may just not have a good ground here, but in any case there's acceptable limits that they specify for glow plugs. Certainly, you can you can look that up online, and it'll give you some idea. But it's the same story for all of the glow plugs. You're just basically grounding one pin, and you're checking all of the wide pins and seeing what the resistance is on them. And if they're unacceptably high, then it's either the harness or the glow plug. And at that point, you can narrow it down by pulling the harness off and checking at the glow plug, or for that matter, just measuring the resistance in the harness itself. You know, like that could be pretty high. These are notoriously uh, bad for failing because they're, you've got a whole bunch of wiring immersed in oil you know for all of the working life of that engine. Now what I've got here is I don't have an injector but this is the solenoid off of an injector and this is a brand new solenoid and I can check the resistance here at the actual solenoid and it's saying about seven and a half almost eight ohms so that's probably a good ballpark for where that is. Once again, there are acceptable limits for that. But to check your solenoids um, for uh, the correct resistance, you know, obviously connect them all back up. And you can ring them out all at the harness here. And obviously, this has to be unplugged from the vehicle harness. Once again, you know, don't poke holes in any of the harness to to see what the resistance, or to, to do it, you have to 
you know, unplug everything. That's just the best way to go. So you're going from, in this case, since this is the leftmost uh, injector, you're going from the smallest of the left or the sm leftmost small terminal to the uh, center small terminal, and it's reading right here about seven and a half ohms there. So that looks good to me. And you just do the same down the line from the center to the to the next one, and I'll, I'll accordingly. And that'll tell you if you've got a burned out injector solenoid, you've got a bad wiring harness, you know, you just have to narrow it down a little bit more from that point. But that should hopefully be all you'd need to do to, to, to determine if this was the problem. Quite frankly, the continuity test on this is, would tell you right away if, if the uh, under valve cover wiring harness was a problem or if it was something else. Okay, hope that helps. Thanks for watching.